stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. What's up, Jags? Welcome back to another edition of Jag TV. I'm Melissa. And I'm Tasha. Now let's get into our announcements with a message from Smob. Hello class, welcome to your first day at school. <sighs> Today we'll be hearing a welcome message from our SMOB, Sammy Saeed. Hello MCPS students, how are you all doing today? Are you talking to us? Yes, I'm talking to all of you. How are you even doing that? Never mind that. Now do you all have any questions for me? Yeah, what do you think is a SMOB? SMOB stands for Student Member of the Board. I, Sammy Saeed, am the student member of the board for the Montgomery County Board of Education for the 2023 to 2024 school year. I serve on a board with a total of eight members, with the other seven of them being adults. What does a SMOB even do? That's a great question. The job of all board members is to set goals for our elementary, middle, and high schools, and to oversee the work of the school system to make sure they align with those goals. Examples of some of those goals would be to promote racial equity, ensure every student is community, college, and career ready, and provide wellness resources to every MCPS student. Now that we know what you can do, what are your goals for this year? Another fantastic question. I have a number of big goals for this year, so I'll just mention a couple of them. One of my biggest goals is to increase communication with the student body in MCPS. And to do that, I'll be active on my social media, at Sammy the Smob, and I'll continue creating fun videos like this. Now I finally know what's going on in MCPS. Yup, another one of my goals is to make tangible changes into improving student mental health by pushing for monthly wellness days where students can focus on mental health rather than schoolwork. That sounds amazing. Sometimes I just need a break. Exactly. And lastly, I want to push for increased school safety measures, high quality school lunches, and infrastructure renovations for schools that need them. Awesome! Any last questions before I head out? Yeah, how can we help you achieve all of your goals? That is the best question I've heard so far. If you want to work with me next year in fighting for these changes, or even get up to 20 SSL hours and have a great experience to put on your resume, scan this QR code to join my SMOB Advisory Council and stay updated with all the important updates for this year. Scan this QR code to access my website and follow my social media. Great! Well, with that, I'm going to get back to work on the whole SMOB thing. See you all next month. Goodbye. Bye! Bye. Wait, so how was he even talking to us in the first place? It doesn't matter. Let's just get back to work. Thanks for that. Moving forward, our annual back to school night will be this Thursday. The evening will begin at 5.30 p.m. with a community information fair in the gym lobby. After the community information fair, your parents will have an opportunity to meet your administrator, counselor, and visit each of your classes. Northwest Ambassadors will be available to assist you in location-specific classrooms. The program will conclude by 9 p.m. We also announced Northwest College Career Admissions visit information. Admissions representatives are ready to meet with all grades in person or in a virtual format, but they need your help. Find the complete high school college career visit schedule in your Navion student account. Navion's registration is required for all visits. Visit the college career webpage and under quick links, select JAG events, high school visit calendar. There will be a QR code on display in the college career information center to scan for attendance. Throughout the week, we will keep you updated with college visits and scholarship opportunities, so stay tuned in. Hey class of 2027, this is for you. Starting this school year, the Maryland Comprehensive Assessments for Biology and Government will count as 20% of the student's final grade in each course. Hey guys, this is a big deal. A virtual parent night will be scheduled this fall to share additional information. Freshmen, also here is your chance to get involved. There's an informational meeting today at lunch if you want to hold an office for your class. You must attend this meeting in order to run for office. Meet the SGA sponsor and discover your place to help your class to greatness. We will be right back.
the cross-country team traveled to Brunswick High School to compete at the 40th annual Sumpac Invitational for their competition of the season. Scoring for the girls was junior Whitney Duhon placing fourth and sophomore Audrey Wachillis with a fifth place finish. Also competing in the varsity race was Sophia Namazi, Shreya Mador, Skylar Haynes, and Amelia Stone. On the boys' side, scoring was their first time runner Nasir Bakari with the 10th place finish and junior Adam Cronenberg placing 14th. Also running in varsity was Andrew Tucker, Jason Beal, Dylan Morgan, Peter Ryu, and Ishan Patel. Congrats to the cross-country team for such a successful meet. The, Jack TV, the JV team was led by the first-time runner sophomore Arjun Vaidya, who placed 10th respectfully. Their next meet will be next week, September 12th, at Bretton Woods Recreational Center. This is their only home meet of the season, so come out to support the seniors for Senior Night at 3.30 p.m. And remember to check out the athletic webpage for the latest information. And we are done for today. See you next time.